What's up everyone and welcome back to another 3D Tips character facial rigging in Maya. So today I want to talk about how to rig a face in Maya. We talked about in our previous lesson how to rig an entire body but today I want to talk how to rig the face because this is where all the cool stuff happen if you want to have some crazy looking... Okay, I'm going too far. Let's rig the face in 3D, shall we? All right, so here is our 3D model. Okay, we got the body rig done. And now what we want to do is to rig the face. We got advanced skeleton loaded up. It's right here. And let's now talk about how to approach the rigging of this face. Now we're going to select the geometry. I like to, you know, have this on the side here because plenty of times I'm going to just view the selected here makes it easier for me to select uh, what I want to select okay now first thing I need to select all the geometry that is going to be used as a, a as a mask here so it's pretty much what we would call the region of you know of where the face rig is going to happen so those are the pretty much I'm going to select also a couple of here that are under the neck because I think I need these faces as well here just to be sure okay and now behind the neck I don't need this I just need the face like that yeah that's pretty much what I want I'm going to hit the um, mask here and this is going to take into account that those are the faces that I want to use. Now, from there, I want to select the object itself, the face itself, model. And then I'm just going to remove under show NURBS curves so that I don't select any of those inadvertently. I'm going to select all of the elements that are making the head. And it's telling me there is no skin cluster found on the model left eye. That's fine. Just create a, a new skin cluster. I'm fine with that. Uh, and then we're going to select our uh, left eye. And then we're going to select our right eye. Okay. Uh, and we're going to... Actually, I selected the wrong one. This is going to be our... Um, left eye and this is going to be our right eye okay and then what do we have we have the upper teeth so i'm just gonna hit ctrl h to select the upper teeth and then the lower teeth and the tongue and then the eyebrows we select the eyebrows and then we select the eyelashes and if there are anything extra in terms of model like if you have sunglasses or something like that then you can select that under extras. Um, okay, now that we've selected all of that, if your model is non-symmetrical, click non-symmetrical, mine is symmetrical, so that's fine. And we're going to start with the first one. So the first fit options, because here there are a bunch of options that we need to go through in order to make sure that the facial rig um, is rigged the way it's supposed to. So first thing is selecting the eyeball so you select the eyeball it says it's going to replace the eyeball from your body setup that's fine we need to bring the eyeball roughly into position like so then we're going to work on selecting the uh, geometry so i'm going to isolate the selected and we're going to select the edge loop which is this one here for me that is making the outer eyelid once this gets done, it's going to have, actually, if I show you NURBS curves and NURBS surfaces, it's creating some controllers for you that are actually outlining what you've selected. Now, I'm not going to, you know, look at those because they're in my way. I just want to isolate here and select the corresponding edge loops for me smash 
faster that way. So this is my eyelid main. It's the main eyelid. And then we have the eyelid inner, which is generally once you've modeled your um, 3D face, it's the geometry that's remaining here. The very edge. This one here is the edge loop that's for the eyelid inner. And then what is the other thing that we have here? We have the lip outer. So once we're done with this, we have the lip outer, which is for me, in this case, this one. This is the lip outer. I'm going to select that. I always look to have the proper edge loop selected, so you should do that as well. Then I have my lip main. And see, in this case, it's not going all the way through because of how the model is modeled. But I'm going to help here in the selection. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Just checking that my selection is identical. There it is. And I'm going to say lip main. And now because of the nature of the model here, oh, you see there is, seems to be a mistake because this should be going all the way through. Okay, so if this happens, you can unselect. It will delete, delete what you've selected and what you've done. And we can do it again. Check what happened. Actually... I did select everything, so everything should be fine. I'm going to go back to lip main again to recreate this. Yeah, this is what should happen. And then for the lip inner, because of the nature of the model, we can't really select easily. So there is a button here that says assist me. It says no. So it has a problem now because it created okay so let's let's do this again let's remove the lip outer and delete everything that's extra and let's go at this again so this is the lip main okay and let's select the lip outer like this. So now once we've selected both of these, we can say assist. And what's going to happen is it's going to pull this out for you so that the selection is much easier. And I'm going to select this edge here. Again, I'm having a bit of trouble with the selection here. So I'm going to zoom in into the model. And make sure that my selection is done right. Okay. Now I have a full edge loop here inside. And I'm going to just say lip inner. Should close the lips once it's done. There we go. Okay. Now... Let's select the eyebrows. So we have the eyebrows here and we're going to select the corresponding vertices um, here. So for example, this vertex is the eyebrow, eyebrow inner. This vertex here is the eyebrow outer. And this vertex here is the eyebrow center. I have some optional, you know, additional options if your eyebrows are more complicated, but I'm not just not going to go through those right now. Now I'm going to select the forehead. So this is the location of my forehead. Actually make it a bit wider. And just click forehead. Three vertices are required for that as a minimum. The jaw pivot. So the pivot here should be around here. It's where your jaw is pivoting as the name suggests. And then we're selecting the vertex here for the jaw corner. And another vertex here for the jaw itself. 
This is where it's going to say this will replace the draw from the body setup, which is fine. I don't need it anymore. And then the vertex for the throat. And then we have the cheeks. So the cheeks for this character are around... Somewhere, let's say, around here. And then we have the cheekbone, which is around here. The cheek razor is around here. Smile bulging is when where you want your geometry to start deforming when the smile kicks in. The frown bulge is when you're frowning. Then we need to select the nose. Here's the nose. And then we select the nose under, under, and then we select the vertex for the nose corner. Optional controls for the nose if you want more uh, control, it's fine. For now, I don't need it. Uh, the tongue, well, the tongue itself, yeah, I want to select it now because I think it's very important when the character is talking to have some more option. It's going to create a bunch of controls for you here uh, another option that is very important i feel is for the eyes to set up uh, the pupil and the iris so the iris here is the black part of your eye uh, sorry the, the the pupil is the black part and then we have the iris which is the colored part like this. So we have control for that. Some additional up, mid, low options that we don't need for now. And then um, there's an additional smile line option. And that's only used if your character is very complex in its geometry. And you need to work a bit more on that. So this is it. This is where we're, we're done. And this is where generally you would need to save before you continue so don't forget to save your progress here okay and then now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually go on under the build option and say build uh, but you have two options build manually which we don't want now this is something to be used if there is a problem somewhere what we want now is to build the advanced face skeleton and once we click on build advanced face skeleton, it's going to go through a bunch of scripts that are making controls and creating some additional skin influences and whatnot in order to rig the face. It's also creating a custom GUI for you uh, and controls on the face. So why do we have that? Well, because some animators prefer to animate manually directly using the controls on the face and selecting them there. And you have some animators that just like to animate using a GUI. So that way, you know, you have both covered and everyone's happy. Okay, so advanced skeleton it's working its magic And it's nearly done. There we go. It's finished. Okay, and once you have, you know, your rig that it's that is built, what you want to do is you want to check it out. So again, the eyes are moving. You can select the controls here on the GUI. You know, check if everything's going where it's supposed to. What you get also is a set of phonemes made for you. So if that character needs to talk, the phone names will be made as well, which is pretty cool. And you have a couple of shapes that are already pre-made. Like, for example, happy. You know, angry. Yeah. Sad. Sad doesn't look that good, but surprised. 
I love a big surprise up there, right? Okay, fear. Disgust. And so on. But the point is that, you know, you've, you've got something that's already working. And you can customize it and mo modify it further if you want. You can import this facial rig in any other scene and it will work. You know, you don't need to have advanced skeleton installed. You can share it along down your production pipeline and everything will work as it's supposed to. And that's it for the 3D tips on facial rigging with advanced skeleton in Maya. I hope you liked this tutorial and that it gave you a good insight into what's necessary to create a good facial rig. Don't forget to ask any questions you might have down in the comments below. And one more important thing, and this is the most important one, is to like our video and please subscribe to our channel. It's going to help us a lot. So smash the like button and hit that bell icon to get notified when the next 3D Tips comes online. Until then, adios.